On October 4, 1957, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik 1, marking the dawn of the space age. This small, polished sphere, weighing 83.6 kilograms, 184 pounds, became the first artificial Earth satellite. Sputnik 1 followed an elliptical low Earth orbit, with its closest point to Earth, perigee, at 215 kilometers, 134 miles, and its farthest point, apogee, at 940 kilometers, 584 miles. It swiftly circled our planet, completing each orbit in approximately 96 minutes, traveling at a peak speed of about 8 kilometers per second, 18,000 miles per hour. During its three-month journey in space, Sputnik 1 completed an impressive 1,440 orbits around the Earth. Before it ultimately fell back into Earth's atmosphere on January 4, 1958, and burned up, the satellite traveled an astonishing total distance of approximately 70 million kilometers, 43 million miles. For 22 days after its launch, Sputnik 1 actively transmitted simple, beep beep beep, radio signals on two frequencies, 20.005 MHz and 40.002 MHz. These signals were easily detectable by amateur radio operators worldwide and provided early data about Earth's upper atmosphere and the propagation of radio waves. Considering these initial transmissions, what does Sputnik 1's journey mean for the chances of any advanced civilizations hearing its historic broadcast? Radio waves, like all electromagnetic radiation, travel at the speed of light, which is roughly 300,000 kilometers, 186,000 miles, per second in the vacuum of space. This means that since October 1957, Sputnik's original radio signals have expanded outwards in a sphere, traveling approximately 68 light years from Earth. While this distance seems vast, it is minuscule on an interstellar scale. The nearest star system, Alpha Centauri, is about 4.37 light years away. However, detecting such a signal across interstellar distances presents immense challenges. The strength of a radio signal diminishes rapidly with distance due to the inverse square law, meaning its intensity decreases significantly as it spreads out. By the time Sputnik's weak, 1 watt signals, which were simple unmodulated pulses, reached even a fraction of a light year, they would have become extraordinarily faint, far below the sensitivity threshold of current alien detection technologies, assuming such civilizations exist and are listening. Therefore, although Sputnik 1's signals have traveled a significant astronomical distance, the probability of them being detected and deciphered by an advanced civilization is extremely low due to the vastness of space and the inevitable weakening of the signal over interstellar distances.